been such a long time since I did a video and I don't even think I have a hair video up but I know that you guys have seen my hair journey through just the regular videos that I do. So today's actually a hair video and I'm going to try my best to do a wash and go. I don't know how this is going to turn out because wash and goes never work for me. My hair always shrinks to the scalp. Like literally my hair could be up to here and it just goes and my hair takes two days to dry because that that business of using a hair dryer don't work for me. That business of letting a hair air dry definitely don't work for me. That, but I stay away from wash and goes. But a wash and go, I heard could stay about a week, and I want to find out. I want to know how to do this. So I actually had to go on YouTube and figure out from other types of videos how they made it work. And I actually came across um, a natural lista. Her name is Kimberly Sherell, and she does videos on hair, beauty, fashion, and lifestyle. Kimberly Sherell, which you guys probably know. Now, I think that this is going to be really helpful to me because she gave a lot of tips about why your wash and go won't work. And I've been doing those things, and I'm like, oh, no wonder, you know? So, one of the good, good, good tips that I learned and I want to share with you guys is the hooded dryer. So, for me, I have a lot of thick hair, and you'll see in the video. And it's hard to keep it like lengthened. It just loves water so, so much that it shrinks up to my scalp. And the hooded dryer actually dries your scalp first, like your roots of the hair first. And then so that it can elongate. That's why my hair was never turning out right. Okay, also in this video, I'm going to be trying out the new eco styler was not really new but this eco styler gel which has black castor oil and flaxseed oil and this is supposed to really you know be um a very shiny and health healthy kind of gel which helps promote growth so you know i'm in for that <clears throat> um so yeah so before i get into this video i just want to show you guys the things that i did before and what i'm going to do to prepare my hair for this okay so i had did a deep treatment mask the Cantu Deep Trigger. This really works for me. It makes my hair really shiny, healthy, and prevents breakage. My hair is very dry and brittle sometimes. Um, like I said, my lo my hair loves moisture, and it easily gets dry. So that this helps a lot. I'm going to be using also this spray bottle to really wet my hair, moisturize my hair, because I heard that your hair needs a lot of moisture when you're doing these wash and goes. Like the more soaking wet it is, the better it is for your curls to turn out good. So. I have the spray bottle, and it has some conditioner in it as well. I got some oil on deck, okay? This is a mixture of oils, even though it has the argan oil. You know, it has like almond oil, olive oil, coconut oil, and the argan oil in here as well. So this is going to be good for my dry hair. And I'm using a Demon brush to detangle, but I, don't, I heard you're not supposed to use it as much so that your hair turns out good. Was, I don't know. I'm just, I'm just figuring it out now. I got this rat tail comb to set up my part. That's about it. And that's it, really. That's really it. I also have this leave-in conditioner that I that I made. Even though it says Moroccan oil, I just I'm just using the bottle, girl. I'm being I'm being healthy over here. I'm helping the environment. Okay, we ain't throwing away these bottles. We reusing them. So I just put my own leave-in conditioner in here. If you guys want to know how I made my own, then please you know leave a comment below and I'll show you how I made this. Other than that, let's get started, and I'm actually pretty nervous. Okay, let's do this. So basically, I just have a t-shirt on my head, which I'm going to use around my neck to keep my shoulders dry from all this wetness. And I have this shower cap on my head, which is really just to keep the moisture in as much as possible. Please need that support. Okay. So I'm going to start from the back and then go to the front. So basically what I did is just wash my hair, did the deep condition, washed it out, and basically just left it in like that. So this is my hair, guys. This is what my hair looks like. The, the very, very back of my hair is very smooth and wavy, you can see, and springy. And the middle of my hair is a little bit rougher, like it's a very, very kinky rough texture and so that's the part i'm really worried about not really here this part is doable this one is not manageable so we gonna see how this castor oil about to to hold up okay mm, let's do it 
so I'm not sure how this goes. I'm not sure if you can put oil first. I don't know. My hair is really moisturized with some conditioner in it and everything from washing it. So it feels really good. And I actually put oil in my hair too when I'm washing my hair. So I'm just gonna I'm just gonna go for it. I'm just gonna go in. We just gonna go in here. Okay. Oh, also just to let you know, I have my hair parted into three different parts on each side so it can be better controlled and also keep the moisture. This gel is so like glittery. Like let me show you guys, it's so pretty. Shining, shimmery, shining. I'm just gonna go I'm trying to feel if my hair feels smooth. Because my hair it can't really get smooth, you know? That easily. It's so good. So good. <laughs> I'm just passing this thing a bit. And so the key also, which I learned in the video, is to separate the hair. Oh, you can go. Twist the action. Okay, I'm gonna go crazy doing this because I don't know what I'm doing. Oh no, I can already see right now. Mm-mm. This is not working. Come on, John. Mm-mm. We can't be, we can't be nice. Flip that in. Okay. I'm gonna just separate it. Mm. This is a lot of work, guys. Like, if you're lazy like me, maybe I'll be in your favor because this ain't gonna work. <laughs> if you're lazy, I'm telling you right now, it's not gonna work. I'm very lazy. I'm only on part one of six. Okay, so I did all. We can see that the back is already shrunk in, but the curls are separated, so it looks nice. I'm going to put a little bit more gel right here to flatten it. Let's see how my roots dry, because like I said, that was the issue in my past. Like, my roots never dried. Okay, so we're going to find out how this turns out. Um, I just set up the hooded dryer, put a whole bunch of pillows under it, because it's really old, and... I just need to get a new one, but that'll come later on in life. So I'm going to set my timer. Hey Siri, set timer for 30 minutes. Roger that. T minus and 30 minutes and counting. Back in 30 minutes. So guys, I've been under the dryer for about 40 minutes. Um... This is actually exactly what my hair looks like when I do the wash and goes. The only thing I can say that I love is that my hair is actually dry. Very good. They feel good. They're not puffy too much or anything. They just shrunk. So I'm going to proceed to sh do a stretching method. I'm going to use probably banding or something like that to do a stretching method and to really get them a little bit longer. I just want to show you guys the banding method that I'll be doing just to try to help my hair to stretch. Um, so the band on this side, just using some scrunchies to really stretch it out as much as possible. I'll be back and I'll try to style it and make it look cute and show you how it looks after about um a few hours. Bye. Okay, so I'm gonna be getting ready to leave. So just want to show you how I take these out. Oh, this one's already out actually coming out. So I'm just gonna unravel it gently and slowly and just pull my hair apart slowly. Okay, next. So this is the look and I actually 
really like it. I like it. This side came out really nice. Um, I kind of think this is just how my hair is going to be in these types of styles. As you can see, there's like something hanging off right here. Um, I don't know what happened. But honestly, I really like how it came out. It's cute. If you're, if my face was done, like, slayed, I would look amazing. Okay. I think it really looks nice, though. I love the tiny little curls. Um, but yeah, I really want to know what you guys think. So please like, comment, and subscribe. And I'll see you in the next one. Love ya. Bye.